Portland, Oregon. A bustling metropolis with a semi-large Jewish community. Also the place of my birth and where I've lived for the past 17 years of my life. All I've ever known was Portland. Sure, I visited family in Florida and even Minnesota from time to time. But my whole life and all I knew was in Portland, Oregon. I went to Jewish day school from kindergarten to eighth grade and after, after that I attended a densely Jewish high school. You know it's really Jewish when all the cool kids know the words to the Birkat Hamazon. <laughs> so as all of you can probably tell, <laughs> There has never been a shortage of the Jewish culture in my life. Judaism has always been there as a huge part of my life and my identity. My religion has always been there to fall back to, a tool to consider my dilemmas, to rethink my actions, and ultimately to contemplate myself. In the middle of my senior year of high school, it came time to apply to college. And like every other 17-year-old in the US, I did exactly that. But when I thought about college, all I can think about was more classes. My mind automatically shot to the thought that college would just be another four years of high school. I just didn't want that. So I considered my other options. I consulted my father, who told me that taking a year off and going to Taiwan when he was young was the best thing he ever did for himself. Uh, I consulted my mother, who told me how, about her own travels on Young Judea Year course how she had the time of her life. Well, naturally, this got me thinking. A year in Israel, a year to apply all of my Jewish upbringing, a year to learn about the world outside of Portland, Oregon, a year, learn to, a year to learn more about myself and to figure out what and where I want to go with my life. Israel, for me, at first, was a little bit of a culture shock. Kosher McDonald's, weird. Ultimately, I had to say goodbye to Portland and Starbucks and mashlomech to Aroma and Israel. I was told that year course was not just a year off. Instead, I was promised a year on. <laughs> but at the conclusion, I have realized that that's only partly true. I think that year course is not only a year on, but a year with, a year that, and a year of. What I mean is, my year was always on the move. I spent my year on the way to Tel Aviv after classes in Bat Yam, a year that I helped produce a flash mob at the Shuk HaKarmel, the year that I was almost killed by an Israeli bus driver twice, once when he almost hit me, and then the second time when I was buying the ticket, a year of Zionism, a year of cleaning the pots and pans in the sink instead of saying, no, mom, I'll, I'll just do it later, because no one else will do them for me. One year of hard work, taking out the trash, cutting vegetables, being forgotten in a freezer, to making minions, all for a dying way of life, the kibbutz life. That year I learned how to make a proper fire, a year of roasting crispy tuna, a year that I spent climbing, fumbling up a massive machtesh to see the view. A year with friends, tied together, climbing up a mountain, pushing one another, believing in each other. A year on the trail of Shvil Yisrael, with people I would never trade, an experience that will never fade. A year of hardships, a year of unexpected friendships, a year on the Temple Mount. A year walking to Bagel Bites, feeling that crisp Jerusalem before breakfast air. A year on Beit RL, a year celebration and commemorations, nine months of seeing the bigger picture, a year with responsibility. I certainly had quite a year, but it was not just a year on. It was a year with Shako Besakit, Berekas, and Humus, a year seeing soldiers on patrol in the capital city, a year of hearing sirens seeing people lock into position, chins rising, a whole nation still remembering. A year of rega, shnia, ma pitom. A year of manyanim, shabbat shalom. A year of Hebrew. One year, my year, 
in Israel. 